babes. Exactly, come on. You're acting like you're a newcomer here that doesn't know any better. <laughs> Driving past the chicken farm, lots of chicks. <laughs> Showing off your soft top car. <laughs> chicks is more of an 80s term. Yeah, and I mean, have you checked the fucking calendar, mate? Hotties. You know, that sounds like you're at the right page of 74. You know? I mean, you can use that if you really want to, but I would not personally recommend. In fact, you'd like to pick up some chicks, a bunch of them in your arms. Would you like to actually have chickens? The other day we were talking about chickens and i was like i would like to have some chickens one day it sounds great just like some some chickens roaming around not in the apartment but you know like in a chicken coop or a little chicken fenced in area doing chicken things chickening around sounds great Do you ever refer to someone as fit? I mean, not regularly, but I have nothing against that word. I think that's all right. That's pretty all right. It's just that... I don't know. It almost, it almost feels like saying oh that's a fit looking person fit doesn't quite have enough weight to it you know like it's too ambiguous like it could be maybe the person is just you know like in a very very good shape <laughs> i don't know maybe they're in a very good shape but you know it that's that's all there is and that's fine you know Cat, hello, greetings and welcome. Well, I think that, you know, on the scale of like... What were you saying? There was hotties and there were chicks, you know, like, it's better than those two, I think. <laughs> but not by much. How goes? It, it do be going. <laughs> Pretty all right, thank you, thank you. Chickening sounds like reckoning or some apocalypse. Are you ready for the chickening? <laughs> Put on your tinfoil hat. down from 4x to 2x clothing down 200 pounds well well done look at you well we can't see you but well done
<clears throat> Just squirt ketchup in your mouth and call it a day, you know? Skip the bread part in ketchup breads and call it a day. Why are you going to be chewing in ketchup? Do you get chunky ketchup? I guess you can get chunky ketchup if you're really on a look lookout for one, but um, <laughs> I don't know if there was much chewing happening. depends on what kind of vessel it has been placed into. You think if you put ketchup in your mouth raw, they what? <laughs> Do you usually eat it cooked? You'd instinctively have to chew. <laughs> Or you mean just like with nothing else? <laughs> just raw. It's fucking raw. Have a tomato allergy. That is terrible. Terrible. Missing out on greatness, what can I say? But you know, is what it is. Squirting it straight from arm's length. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, first and foremost, it is not cursed. <laughs> and I think you should be happy that you can witness it in all its glory. Second of all, that is Steve. Hello? Steve. Everyone's favorite man. And if he is not your favorite man, then I don't know what to tell you. 
a blanket. Exactly, who doesn't love mini Steve? <clears throat> He has every single job that there is on this planet Earth. Going for the boxer? Yeah, this is a post-match look. Or like a, a break, you know? Need to mop up the sweat from my shoulders <laughs> before I jump back into the ring. <laughs> exactly. Mid-fight. Mid-fucking-fight. <laughs> Sipping on my beverage, you know? blood stained already it's all happening it is all happening well he is that's why it's very rare to see him here because you know it's difficult to find the time for the man Rub me down with some ice packs, smear my wounds full of Vaseline so they stop bleeding. Yeah, sounds great. Sounds like a great time. I don't think we're in the same weight category. Although, actually, we might be. Actually, because of his size vertically, we might be in the same weight category. I will dominate in height. There is no denying that. <laughs> I could just stretch my arm out and hold his forehead and the poor man wouldn't be able to reach. Uh, Astro, hello, greetings and welcome. Doing all right, thanks. I'm glad you liked Neon City. Yeah, there are technically two more city paintings in that. Um, oh, what would you call it? Grouping? <laughs> the city painting grouping. I just haven't posted them, but I painted them at the beginning of the year. So we have one that is like a very dilapidated, you know, run down city, and then one that is taken over by nature do i have background in design <laughs> i wouldn't say that <laughs> i wouldn't say that no I feel like it's the same city at different points of time. Well, that sort of, I guess, ended up being the case, at least to some extent. How can someone, seeing the owls behind me and then and then question whether you have design skills. Okay. <laughs> Dude, someone designed that fucking wallpaper. Someone probably went to a fancy design school, studied there for four years, got a degree, then came out of it and created that. So, I don't know. <laughs> they probably do live in a mansion. All that cold hard cash that they got from this wallpaper, you know. This design only, they didn't even have to do anything else, you know. They made this and that's it. End game.
<laughs> design toilet seats. That's just an added. That's a you know a, pa a fun pastime activity for them at this point. You know, just a, a cash thing, just to keep the flame going. Art education is mostly a scam. <laughs> I mean, you know. I see your point. I see your point. Not all of it, obviously. But you know, there are some things that... Uh, unless the education is free for you, which it can be in a great deal of countries, um, unless it's free, you know, there are many things that you can just learn on your own in a much better and faster way without having to attend a class of any kind. That is true, but you know, someone has already done the hard work with the owls, so you know, that ship has sailed and quite frankly, no one else will ever get this high <laughs> and reach this kind of level of greatness, you know, where they can design another wallpaper that is equally as amazing as this one, you know, the, the Everest has been reached, everything else is just, we don't even care. We don't even care about the rest. Right. I mean, we also can't forget that they probably need a degree in owl owl owlology, you know, <laughs> to get the owls just right. No, it's it's only for the hardcore people, you know. Only a small, small percentage manage to power through. Yeah, but you can get the theory on your own as well. <laughs> In the age of internet, you know, it's not like you're just left at your own devices with, n with no nothing.
Just mention it. Just do it. You know, Obi. Just do it. You got this. Just do it. You haven't done it yet today. Or have you? Can't remember. <laughs> Can't remember. I feel like soon you will have to get like an affiliate link with them, you know? Get a promo code or something. Start cashing in. Oh no. Have lift off. <laughs> it is getting close to baby potato time. Everyone is hyped. You could exchange one of your nothings. <laughs> See, I feel like it's not globally known currency, so you might have some issues. But hey, maybe they are aware of the value of nothing, you know. Lawn drawing? Didn't you say you were drawing insects? Have you already switched to plants? You're doing insects. <laughs> doing insects at the moment, which is lesson four. The plants was lesson three. Oh, you're skipping. Okay. Oh no, you're not skipping. You're just late for reviews. Um. Well, hi again. You know. Hi. It's it's night time basically. <laughs> I have a blanket that's nighttime. Or <laughs> join a cult. And they just presenting us with the real options, you know? Finally, some words of wisdom. There is no nighttime this time of year. That is true. That is very true. There is like light and slightly less light <laughs> but still light
English only. Thank you. Astro, you're from Sweden. Are you also eating baby potatoes tomorrow? That's the real question. <laughs> Screwed art questions. What about baby potatoes? Baby potatoes over art any day. <sighs> call them fresh potatoes. We'll call them whatever you want. <laughs> fresh, new, baby. Recent, recently divorced potatoes. <laughs> Single and ready to mingle potatoes in your area. <laughs> Click here now. <laughs> Well, I have heard of that combination. The salty herring, the baby taters. Fit for a midsummer celebration.
What is with this combo? Anytime you look here today, it's herring and potato talk. Which means you have looked here twice today. <laughs> Maybe it's just a sign. Maybe it's a sign that secretly you want to try it out. Maybe that is what's missing from your life. A good old tater and some salty herring. And you do the dance of small frogs around a giant phallus symbol. And what would that be? What's the what's the Swedish thing? Like the flower stick. A flower stick? Some sort of stick. <laughs> a cross with balls. Peculiar. But you know, I'll take it. Not literally. Oh, you know. You only have smoked herring and some widowed potatoes. <laughs> Two widowed potatoes is not the same. Not the same. It's not a phallic symbol. It's a myth invented in the late 1800s. Right. <laughs> so what does it symbolize? What meaning does it bear? The visuals, however, are there. You know, the... The giant dick visuals. You know, I mean, flowers make most things better, so might as well slap some of those on the giant knot deck. Because here, you know, besides the good old bonfire, we do also have um, the option where you make a bonfire, but in a barrel that's on a stick. Like a tall ass fucking stick. You know, it looks cool. It's pretty impressive. There is a greater uh, hazard involved. So, you know, living a dangerous life. What a time, what a time. Bonfire on a stick, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, the joys, the joys. It's like Jesus on a stick, but not quite. <laughs> It was imported from the continent around the 1500s and it's a uh, let's put leaves and flowers on various maples thing. Then in the 1800s when national romanticism, the everything is Viking era and Fro Freudian psychoanalysis, everything is a dick, was all the rage. <laughs> Suddenly the maple was a dick. <laughs> Freud very proud he's very proud of that um and since then people keep that story alive interesting there was also many different midsummer maples and the one with balls is just one of them just you know the odd one out the odd ball the... <laughs> i'll i'll roll i'll roll with that it's, it's an odd ball A lot of people say the Midsummer Maple is a fertility symbol of the goddess Freya, but maples weren't used until 
year 14 400 years after the viking era thank you for attending my ted talk we are very very happy to attend your ted talk it's always great always great always um very informative But now you have opened your eyes, you know? You've seen the truth. Although, you know, like, nothing is stopping you from continuing to live the life where you are dancing around a glorified flower-covered dick, you know? Like, no one is stopping you from that if it really floats your boat. <laughs> Don't even celebrate. <sighs> Get out. Don't even celebrate Midsummer. Uh, who does that? <laughs> 1800s national romanticism is like a PR blanket statement, including the Vikings had horns bullshit, which actually is kept as truth here. Here, as in Sweden. One thing that confuses you in the northern countries is the name Maypole. You also have Maypoles, but they are erected on the night before the 1st of May, hence Maypole. You have a point. <laughs> you have a point right there. Why the heck is Toot wandering around me and meowing? It's dinner time for him! Oh no, okay. Well, we'll have to take a break, because my cats require food. <laughs> so, I'll be back in, in a moment.
Okay. Cats have had Dindin. It's all happening. The word may in maple is from the verb to may, Maya in Swedish, which means to cover in leaves and flowers. Not May the month. And and what's the name for May as the month in Swedish? So close. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> right. Confusion confusion has ensued. But well, it's fine, we will believe you. You're no cat, but you need some dinner too. That checks out. <laughs> well, may you have a glorious dinner. Take care and see you when I see you. Yeah, I'm working with a reference right now. It's from the, the great land of, of Scotland. A Scottish... Seascape. Bunker is not a cat. I know. Just a shocking discovery. We're all fooled. All bamboozled. Here we thought he was a feline specimen.
Um, I think you have a case of aphantasia. I can't imagine stuff visually. So you have to use reference while drawing. I mean, I don't see any issue with that. <laughs> References are very helpful regardless, so you know. Loving the beach episode of this anime. I'm glad. I'm glad. Am I to ask where I'm from? By all means, please do. Getting more and more clueless. <laughs> I like that, you know? I like to sow some seeds of confusion into people when it comes to my origin. Um, well, to be fair, if you come from Sweden, then I am not particularly, particularly far away from, from that country. I'm obviously not Swedish myself, but... Um, <laughs> Start guessing away. <laughs> Just give it a guess. Give it a good guess. A mysterious backstory, truly, truly. A guessing game. Netherlands. Oh, oh, I like that. I like that. I like that so much. And I wish every single day of my life that that was the truth and nothing but the truth but no sadly i am not it's a great country though <laughs> north korea <laughs> poland no <laughs> not polish some may claim that i have polish eyes but you know <laughs> middle korea <laughs> warm <laughs> Only the eyes are Polish. Germany! I like that. I do speak German. But no. I beat you to the eye comment? Oh no. Owlland. Ding ding ding! It is Owlland, actually. It is the land of owls. Belgium. No, no, you have drifted a little. Think closer to Sweden. Think closer. Closer to Sweden. <laughs> Denmark. <laughs> I did live in Denmark for like four and a half years. It was a great time. Estland. Like Estonia. Almost. 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 Ireland. I'm actually cosmopolitan Irish at heart. <laughs> cosmopolitan Irish. Lithuania. Boy, you are just... So... What's left? What is left? What is left? <laughs> Hopping over it. <laughs> You'll win any second, any second, any second, just... It's the same. 
Lithuania and Litauen, I'm pretty sure it's the same. <laughs> Latvia, that's the one. There you go, Latvia. I come from Latvia. You got this. Lit... Lithuania. <laughs> Getting rest, it's okay, you know, who isn't? Who isn't? Who isn't? It's fine. So I come from Latvia. And um, that's it, there is not much else to add to that. Estlatvuania? Hmm, my favorite. Estlatvuania. <laughs> The Baltic land. The land of the Baltics. Bad you, you didn't say Democratic Republic of Congo, otherwise you have felt a fool. I mean... You know, I, I would have accepted that answer, actually, Obi. <laughs> it's Pennsylvania. <laughs> ah, yes, the infamous land of vampires, Pennsylvania. Hmm. You would have guessed Finland, but they suck at English. Ooh, a burn. A burn. That's beef between you Swedes and and the Finns, okay? We are not we're not getting in the middle of that. That's just, you know, that's between you. <laughs> Don't get us involved. But I have heard that you have many things to say about, you know, the neighboring countries. The Danes, the Danes and their language, there, you know, there is a lot happening there. You're French, you're, uh, <laughs> you're French and you, okay, you are in no position to say anything in that case. <laughs> you are in no position to like, have any input when it comes to languages. Exactly. <laughs> the Danish potato. Danish English is the best English. Mm. Up for debate. I mean, Swedes have also such a very specific. Just calling a cat. A very specific way of how they speak when it comes to the English language, you know? I feel like it's relatively easy to decipher someone who comes from, from Sweden when they're speaking English. Schmuckleberry, hello, greetings and welcome. You just got back. Are we talking about where I'm from because you've been wondering? Well, yes, we did indeed have this kind of conversation, but now that you have missed it, um, I will have to ask you to guess. That's just the rules. Give it a guess, you know? We have no incorrect answers here. 
We don't have no bad guesses. We just guess away. What do you think? Hello, Matt. What the heck am I doing up this time? That is a great question. I mean, I have my blanket with me, so I'm ready for bed. <laughs> I had a lion this morning. Can you believe that? I had a lion this morning. I didn't wake up at... Well, I woke up at 6, but then I made the decision to continue sleeping. So, um, I can stay up another extra hour or so a, a whole ass lion i woke up there was a lion standing next to me and i thought not right now i will go back to sleep let's deal with that a little later um well someone said sweden but your guess was holland the netherlands the netherlands I like those guesses though. I like them because internally I feel like I should be coming from the Netherlands, even though I don't. I have visited. I have visited. It's a glorious place. So many tulips, so many windmills, so many wooden clickety clackety shoes, you know? I mean, you can tell that I only visited the very touristy bits, but still, <laughs> still was a great time but no not sweden not the netherlands so many tall people yeah but the same thing is here as well we are sort of in competition with the with the netherlands when it comes to the tall people <laughs> cuz i if i'm not mistaken women here are the tallest <laughs> of them all <laughs> the tallest of them all <laughs> you know just we're used to tall people tall people can reach things high high up on the shelves you know that's a good thing we also have very bad knees but you know that it is what it is you know you win some you lose some <laughs> such little hills same here They also get girls, the tall people. I mean, they do, they do, they do. But also the short ones do. I think it boils down to personality, you know. But what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? I know nothing. I'm, I'm channeling Jon Snow and I know nothing. They get shorter girls. If there are any available, perhaps, yes. It's an interesting dynamic, you know? Like, seeing a very, 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 very tall individual together with a very, very, very short individual. It's it looks interesting, you know? I'm sure they're having a glorious time. I am sure. The shorter people can pick up drop things. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what they're good for. <laughs> they can pick up the things that you have dropped. <laughs> Cot, hello, greetings and welcome. <sighs> Carry you in my tall arms. I mean, how tall are you? It d depends how tall. I could carry Alex, like he's at a carryable height, but I, uh, you know, how tall are you? You want the three meter wife? That is very specific, and sadly, I feel like it will never happen. Um, Oh, okay, 173. I have I had forgotten. I had forgotten this important um <laughs> here it comes. This important fact. 173. All right. I mean you know, it it would be a bit tricky, I guess, but 
perhaps manageable. Last time I roasted you for being several centimeters shorter than me. Yeah, that sounds like um, so that sounds like a thing that I may have done, and I was tempted to do that this time as well, but <laughs> I didn't. You know, should have grown taller towards the sun. What can I say? <laughs> Just shooting sky high. The monthly what height is everyone called? When was the last time we had a conversation like that, OB? I do not recall, okay? It definitely hasn't been at, le it, at least two months. At least two months. And that's one month too many. <laughs> well, OB, how tall are you? Hit us. Hit us with a number. Only <laughs> shade. <laughs> Only shade. You've heard me say five foot four, but also five foot ten. <laughs> Depends on the day, you know? Depends on the day. Sometimes I feel shorter. <laughs> I asked you how tall are you, Obi? Tell us. Who uses foot? <laughs> the wild people. <laughs> the wild people do. I don't know. I mean, I would prefer if if they operated with centimeters, but uh, I guess that's too much to ask. You revealed it recently. Ugh. Do we now have to use our memory? A respectable five foot ten. And how much is that in like metrics? <laughs> what do I know? I can't believe I'm. Well, I mean, if you're five foot ten, and I have said that I might be five foot ten, then in what world am I taller than you? That doesn't fucking add up, does it? <laughs> I'm definitely not taller than you, okay? I would hope. 177. You'd think it's 180. Well, there is a, a difference between 177 and 180, so which one it is? <laughs> Do we need to ask Mother Google? Five foot ten in normal people measurements. 177.8. We can round that up to 178. Just, you know, to like make people feel better. <laughs> You are slightly taller than me, Obi. <laughs> By a little. <laughs> By a smidgen. <laughs> By, you know, you d you have done that. You have outdid yourself. I mean, when my hair is up, then, you know. But without my hair up, you are taller. How do you feel about this achievement? <laughs> Talk into the microphone. <laughs> oh, it depends on your hair as well. Oof. <laughs> well, you can wear heels, yes. No one is stopping you from that. Hair doesn't count. <laughs> Oh, it so counts. It so counts. No, no. Why are you screaming? Boy, I gave you dinner. You can't have more. But you know, we, we have established in the past as well that I would consider myself sort of amidst the rest of us Latvians a very average height person. <laughs> like, you know, very average. Nothing to rave about. Nothing, nothing particularly impressive, you know? Like, yes, there are shorter people, but yes, there are also so much more taller people. So, 
just average. Good average babe height. <laughs> You've stepped on some boxes and now you're 175. <laughs> Eat dirt, y'all. <laughs> uh. Oh my goodness. People who live at higher altitudes grow shorter. Right, I mean, I've been joking around that we're just stretching towards the sun because, like, there is none. So you have to grow tall like a sunflower, otherwise you're just gonna dwindle and die. You've made a culinary leap of adding bees to the baby potatoes. Oh my goodness. Nigella is ringing at your door. Gordon is on the phone. Like trees in the am just like that. Just just without the Amazon, you know? Just the local forest. <laughs> the local forest. I would like to send you Nigella. But to be fair, before sending Nigella over to you, I would like to keep her for myself. <laughs> At least for a little bit. Is that a traditional country? Well, in what sense? <laughs> it does have traditions. Latvian traditions. It has a McDonald's. It does. I mean, we are cultured, for sure. There is a McDonald's. There is also a KFC. <laughs> Mind-blowing. 
a KFC, a Macadese, um, and some other bullshit. <laughs> Are they more on the conservative side? Well, I mean, as a country, as a whole, <laughs> we do, I mean, on Tuesdays, they do give us electricity, otherwise we have to use the old school methods, you know. It's definitely not as liberal and free and all accepting as, um, you know, as I said, I lived in Denmark. It was a whole different experience, you know, like here people might be more inclined to have some conservative views, also some rather stupid views, <laughs> but, you know, generally speaking, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad, you know? <laughs> oh, bucket of electricity to ration out throughout the week, yes! Max? Max what? TJ Max? Or is it TK Max? We don't have that. No other Maxes. You replace it with other types of stupidity here. Well, I guess you, you can't really escape it, can you? Hello, Alex. But, you know, as I said, like, generally speaking, it's, it's a pretty, you know, pretty free country where you can just do whatever for the most part. Well, you know, you know, you can't be walking around murdering people, but I feel like that might be an issue in most places. And if that's, if that's what you want to do on a Friday night, then something ain't right. <laughs> you love TK Maxx? It is a glorious place. If I'm not mistaken, this, this came from TK Maxx. But in Germany. And I'm not sure if it was, if it was called TK Maxx in Germany or, it, or if it had a slightly different name. But it came from a place and it's my favorite um, I almost call it a pillow. My favorite blankie. It's so nice. Can't shop without a basket, but it's a free country. That is true. You will get yelled at if you don't have a basket. Not anymore, though. I don't, I don't take a basket anymore and no one yells at me. But maybe it's because I'm a local, you know? <laughs> Found a, a stat that Latvia is high on the list of gun deaths. Well, truth be told, I haven't heard of one in years, so I don't know. How many are we talking? Two in a decade? <laughs> I wouldn't be concerned about that, is all I'm saying. <laughs> if anything, you are more likely to maybe be hit by a crazy driver. But um, a gun death? Oh, that's, you know, you have to seek those out, I think. Lulu, please. Really scared to yell at, at me with my 170 cent centimeters. Just asserting fucking dominance here. <laughs> Scotland is responsibly high too, but it's all farming related. Mm. Scotland 
Gun deaths and murders are different. That is true. It's probably a lot of just like hunting incidents. <laughs> the ogre doesn't have a boss. Can <laughs> hush, hush there, Mary. Don't anger the ogre without the basket. <laughs> Allow him to pass. It was a very long and hot day at work, so you've treated yourself to some Fanta. What kind? The OG? The original? Well, that's what I was thinking of. You had your raspberry and what? Raspberry and... Maybe it was just raspberry Fanta. You don't trust Fanta people. That's fair. <laughs> that is fair. But you know. You can't always pick and choose. Sometimes you just have to deal with the cards that, that are given to you. Just orange, just straight up, just classic. Keep it clean, keep it classy. Orange Fanta. It's been a while since I've had Fanta. Yes. <laughs> What's your um, opinion on Sprite? I always thought it tasted like dishwashing liquid. Dr. P? <laughs> Dr. P? -P? Yeah, I mean, you know, nothing wrong with, with Dr. P? -P. Sprite is like vanilla ice cream. Yeah, but it doesn't taste like vanilla ice cream. It tastes like Sprite. <laughs> you have some, you are also a Fanta boy. Look at you all being Fanta boys. Full of sugar, no mess. Full of sugar. See, maybe my claim that you might be the kind of person who sits in the corner of the room eating spoonfuls of sugar from the from the tub is not too far fetched. <laughs> Sprite makes you feel bad. Is Sprite bullying you? Isla, hello, greetings and welcome. Well, thank you, thank you. Zingo. Do we have Zingo? I know that there was um, like a lemonade with a pig. <laughs> a lemonade with a pig on it. But that had a different name. You're not drinking it whilst eating ice cream. That's like a... What is it called? A Coke float? A floaty Coke? Minus the Coke. Just a Fanta. A floaty... A floaty fa... 
<laughs> a phantom float. <laughs> Where you put the ice cream in the in the in the in the drink. I don't know if that's great. I've never tried it, but I've I've heard of it and it sounds interesting. Fanta fruit twist. I don't know. It's nice, but it's not like any fruit you've tasted. Yeah, because it probably it, it it does not taste like an actual fruit. <laughs> it tastes like anything but a fruit. Coke float is something the grandparents had a had as a treat. Well, yeah, and why can't you have that? <laughs> Too, you're too young and fresh for that? I'm not I'm not that sure. Um Zingo is Swedish. Well would you look at that? A day of discoveries. Hello, Kava. Little Owen Red Bull is called Red Lightning. <laughs> that is way, way cooler. In-house brand that is called Red Lightning. Mm. <laughs> red, red, <laughs> red cow, red horny animal, red, not pink, moo. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with other alternatives for Red Bull, where you can't get sued for using their name. Burgundy Moose. <laughs> Burgundy Moose is a good one. That is a good one. Bedroll. <laughs> is there a Latvian drink that is popular? I mean... Crimson Bovine. <laughs> We do have this thing called kvass that's disgusting, but many people love it and, you know, a bunch of manufacturers for that. It's basically like rye bread drink, sort of. Very sweet, very like... Ugh. Mm, no. Sidoni. Well, that means... It, that's... Is it a berry? That could be a flavoring for something. <laughs> for like a cider, maybe. Or like, you know, you could have a juice with that. I don't know what's the name for, for those things in English, though. They grow in bushes. They're like these, this around this size, yellow, very tart. Um, very tart things. Class is like a, a malt soda. Sure. It's it's vile, is all I'm saying. Like alcohol-free dark beer, but sweet like Coke and has an ass aftertaste. That's pretty spot on. Pretty spot on, yes. But it's one of those things, whether you like it or you hate it, you know? It's, it's very difficult to land in a... Yeah, it's alright. Well, we can't leave the, 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 the asses out of the conversation. It's difficult, you know? It's tricky. The mind keeps, keeps going back. Hey, don't you dare to diss on Coke Zero. That is divine. Divine. Tastes great. <laughs> what you're on about. <laughs> well, yeah, because he likes it. <laughs> he likes it a lot, so... For him, there, there are the good ones and then there are the bad ones, but like, he likes that drink. 
A zero to one with no caffeine and no sugar hardly seems worth it. I don't know about the caffeine. It definitely doesn't have the sugar. But um, for someone who has zero sugar tolerance, <laughs> flashbacks to that one donut I ate three years ago, it's great. It is great, okay? It's a fun time. Pepsi Max is better. Pepsi Max is also pretty, pretty solid, you know? Can't argue with that. No, it's just air in a bottle <laughs> that you pay money for. It tastes like licorice. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it tastes great. What happens when I drink sugar? <laughs> I vomit. Well, nothing happens. It's just that I don't have a particularly big sweet tooth. For a matter of fact, I have no sweet tooth whatsoever. I'll have like a cookie every once in a while and I'm good. I'm sorted. <laughs> I've had one. I don't want anymore. So, you know, I don't have a high sugar tolerance because I just don't eat a lot of that stuff. So I haven't built up. I haven't built up the tolerance. <laughs> so even a little bit knocks me out of my socks. <laughs> you missed it. You missed the response. The response was, uh, I don't have a high sugar tolerance because I don't eat much sugar on the daily. And um, if I have too much, it's I am having a bad time, you know? <laughs> I will puke, potentially. <laughs> you should buy kutapapapam. Why is that? Oh, that's the, the, li the salted licorice. <laughs> well, you can buy that. Someone has to. Someone has to keep the um, keep the, the salted licorice um, market going. I'm definitely more of a savory things lover. Well, for salted licorice ice cream, you two are weird. <laughs> weird! Alex, can I ask you about ch chale? Chile? Ch 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 Pale. Chale. Ch ch chale? <laughs> it says it's pronounced like pale. I am not okay. I'm trying to pronounce the name. Or or is it a secret and I should not ask? I have some questions. I have some questions regarding ch chale. <laughs> Turkish Eber ice cream in May. Wait, it has... Does it have pepper in it? Is that what that is? <laughs> what are what? <laughs> the questions? <laughs> what are the questions <laughs> regarding ch chale? 
Well, first and foremost, how long you had? Chail. <laughs> Am I pronouncing it correctly? That's the first question. Am I pronouncing the name correctly? Is it Chail? How does one name... How does one find a name like that? I'm saying it right, so it's Chail. How long have you had Chail? Wow, so spicy. OMG, whoop whoop. <laughs> Is Alex in jail? <laughs> it's German. Dude, I've never seen a name like that. <laughs> Since last Wednesday, so a week. So very fresh. It's looking very cute. It's, it's a boy, right? Chael sounds like a boy name. It's a boy. It's a boy. Well, that's cute. So now you have a baby boy. Chael. 11 weeks. Oh, that's so small. It's more your roommate's cat. Yeah, but you bo you you live in the same apartment, so like, <laughs> you know. If it's your roommate's, it's also yours. <laughs> You're an uncle that turns up at the weekends. Mm. Well, fair, fair. He works from home, so he's always here. You only really see it in the morning, and when you come home... IT! The baby boy! <laughs> the child! I see the thing in the mornings and in the evenings, and that's about it. I pat it on the head, <laughs> and I call it a day. The thing. <laughs> it has four legs. And that you, I I look at it and then I walk away. <laughs> well, it's very exciting, you know. Brings a little life in the apartment. Um, little baby chail. Call it Gremlin, but you've been told you shouldn't because it'll start thinking that's its name. How is that an issue? Is it better that it, that it thinks it's Chael? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think you you have to give an animal multiple names, because like otherwise, what's the point? You know. We rarely call Tut and Luna Tut and Luna. They have different names. You know? Dumpling Princess and all that. So, Gremlin is fine. dumpling princess yeah because <laughs> she looks like a fucking dumpling but she's also a princess 
So she's a dumpling princess. No, it's appropriate. <laughs> it's appropriate. It fits. It fits the bill. Oh, she she would never. She would never have body image issues. No. She's a very self-confident dumpling princess. <laughs> The person that had it before you was from here. But the person she got it from were Polish, so you, so you have a Polish cat. Okay, so <laughs> you have a Polish cat. Maybe it's a Polish. Wait, did it come with the with the name? Or was the name given? Hello, Penny. Or should I just say P? It is me! It is me. It's not Mario, it's me. Actually. Here we are. Painting another landscape, another seascape, another. another scape. Another escape. From reality. C and P, happy to be. Walking in the winter wonderland. You like the foliage escalating. The foliage... I mean, the foliage escalated here. I'm very happy with how this one turned out. I like it. It's simple, but effective. And now, a bit of water. The name was given by the girl you got it from. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So maybe the name is Polish. I would like to think the name is Polish, even though it's not. But... That makes me feel better. Because <laughs> it's just so out there, you know? Shale. Chale. Sorry. It's almost like Cher. I should have named the cat Cher. What a strong name that would be. You asked about the name and apparently it's it's a way German shortened the name Michael. Mikael! <laughs> I have never encountered that in my life, but sure. We will roll with that. Working with acrylics, that's sort of the, the main thing for me. P. I mean, it could be, you know, I, I can't claim anything. <laughs> can't claim expertise, even though I would like to. You have a store here that sells Marabou paints. Marabou, Marabou, Marabou. 
Oh, I have marabou paint. Oh my goodness. I was like, why does that sound familiar? Do I have marabous? I do. Yeah, they're acrylics, right? <laughs> I do. I, I have to say though, now I have a greater deal of the Amsterdam ones and I like them more. I do. The Amsterdam ones in comparison to the marabou ones are like night and day. <laughs> there, there is an ex like exception. The these big bl like black and white bottles that I have, I these are from Marabou and they are great. They are great. The darker colors are also great for Marabou, but the lighter ones, the lighter ones are a little. They're not as pigmented. That's the thing. Now I switch. I mean, I still I'm I'm still using the Marabou ones. It's just that I got I got the Amsterdam ones and they were better. <laughs> so, I'm slowly moving like just to the Amsterdam acrylics. Cuz the pigmentation is so much higher. <laughs> but mortgage and ball the Marabou now I'm saying they're shite. Well, what can I do? What can I do? At the time, I didn't know any better. At the time, I had my marabou and nothing else. I'm not planning on switching to an... Well, next thing you know, I'm sitting here with Windsor and Newton acrylics. <laughs> I, I won't. The Amsterdam ones are very nice. Plus, I can buy them in like... A, a relatively local shop, so don't even have to go on Jeff's website. Lex, enjoy your lurk and hello. I'm not using gouache. What? No. I mean, um, why not Schminke right away? Because Schminke, Schminke has failed me in the past. I have beef with Schminke. <laughs> Spe especially about Schminke's white gouache beef but i'm sure they're great um but yeah the gouache days you know we have moved into the world of acrylics now for a, a pretty long time you know i do i i do do the occasional gouache drawing now in my sketchbook or 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 something like that but i don't know i like the acrylic life it's quite nice Schminke beef. Well, yeah, because they had this um, white gouache that they advertised as opaque. Guess what it fucking wasn't? Opaque. <laughs> so, um, I was disappointed, you know? I was disappointed with the false advertising. What can I say? use your gouache on acrylics how like is it holding up nicely i've never tried that It does. What kind of magic? What did you do? What did you do this time? Put me from your phone to your PC. Let me out! 
<laughs> Let me out of here. <laughs> I want to go back to the phone. It felt more cozy there. Even lost my blanket. Damn it. <laughs> no. My blanket. Got my blanket back. We're all good. More RAM. <laughs> Fine. I'll take it then. Well, Escobar, thank you also very much for joining. Have a wonderful rest of the evening or whatever time zone you find yourself into. Um, thanks for joining and hopefully see you some other time, whenever that may be. With your phone, your work phone, your PC, your tablet, and your iPad, you could even have five of me. I mean, that might be the max. The max, you know, that the world can handle. <laughs> all five of me, all at the same time. I guess in a pinch, you could also get Pancake Man's phone and put me on there but you know that would be really like a a last resort you really have to do it kind of thing Chloe Choir. <laughs> A voice of an angel descending from the heavens above. <laughs> White blanky wings. That was a, a diseased bird sound. <laughs> a bird that has some issues. <laughs> a bird that may need some help. I would assume, yes. I would. You did two loads this week and ran out of drying room. Well, don't you have a clothes horse? You gotta, you gotta get two. Two horses. like the endless steep corner so do i so do i clothes were on the horse the sheets were on the towel rack <sighs> hey 
Okay, the best way how to dry sheets is just string them in between two chairs, you know? Two regular chairs, put them as far away from each other as possible and get the sheets hanging there, you know? Easy breezy. The age-old trick. Plant, hello, greetings and welcome. Am I wearing a choker or have I delicately painted a small stripe around my neck before streaming, you wonder? Well, as much as I would like to delicately paint a small strip around my neck before I start streaming, I haven't done that. And it is, indeed, a choker. <laughs> No one's actually getting choked, though. Just to clarify. We're all safe here. <laughs> head connection. It's like a Barbie doll whose head you can just pull off. <laughs> Doing great. Thank you, Plan. Thank you. <laughs> Covers the staples. <laughs> what, am I Frankenstein's monster? Close. But not quite. An android that needs an update, that's for sure. An android running on an old program. Screws off and the rest is just a shell full of peas. <laughs> you're not far off. You're you're not. Oh, that is that is my reality. If I'm not full of frozen peas, then what's the fucking point? Hello, lithium. Greetings and welcome. It's acrylic. It's acrylic. Yeah, we have had this discussion. Peeled peas look like elephant buttocks. Yes, I still recall that glorious discovery. macaroni <laughs> like the elbow macaroni <laughs> craft dinner almost two years two years since you've been here or two years of what I feel like you've been here for a long time. Oh, since you and the man. Well, it's not quite two years. That's gonna be in like November, babe. <laughs> it's still like half a year that you have to wait. But I mean, you, you two have gone a long way together, you know. Haunts you how I remember all of it. Well, I don't remember all of it, but I do remember the key moments. <laughs> the key moments are in here. Can you not? He, in fact, could not not. <laughs> 
that is also a fair point. We do get a lot of updates from you. So it's sort of, the memories get freshened up every time you tell more information. I just lost the screw, but it's, it's a goner. It's not worth my time. <laughs> Please, I just peed on the floor. A, a P situation, a P P P P situation. Scoob, hello, greetings and welcome. currently working on a little seascape, a little Scotland scenery moment. Um, not that I've been there, because I haven't, but you know, it doesn't stop me from painting a place like that. Um, other than that, doing, doing great. You know where this is. You know where Scotland is? <laughs> I don't know where this is, but you know. Vito could probably tell me. What's the exact name for this location? <laughs> Deutschland. <laughs> Caught in Serbian means jerk, so you call it jerkland. Sick. <laughs> there, it's a. Well, this is a place in Scotland. There is like a castle. At the, there, there are probably like, probably like hundred castles in Scotland that are on a cliff. <laughs> but it's a very dilapidated castle. There is barely anything left from it. That's all I can tell you, because I don't know anything else. Pronounce yogurt. <laughs> I would assume it's not pronounced yogurt. <laughs> yogurt. Like strawberry strawberry yogurt? Vanilla yogurt. <laughs> the stuff that Eric likes to eat. You put it out there purely for entertainment value. Purely for that. Well, actually, I could look up... Wait a second. Wait a second. Mother Google, please give me a break. Uh, it is up north. Up north. Where exactly was that? Are they going up? Where are they going down? now on on google maps just like trying to trying to see if like anything
brings back some, some memories. <laughs> Not the one. What's that? Not the one. Maybe that's not the one. No, I can't find it. <laughs> there are too many places that look similar. I'll have to ask Rito at some point, if I remember. Is it Old Slain Castle? Maybe not, no. No, that's not the one, sorry. That's not the one. <laughs> there are too many castles there. Anyhow, <laughs> you will have to go, go crazy. Stone... Horn stone. I don't, dude. I don't know. Let's see. I think that's not the one. I don't think. I'll, I'll ask Rito at some point. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that, that's more Aberdeen area, but like he was sort of in that general vicinity somewhere. What is happening? Why am I here? I was waiting for you, actually. I was waiting for you to show up. Finally you did, so um very happy to see you, Kay. Very happy to see you. You're sorry that you I'm also sorry. I feel sorry for you that you have to work this long, but uh I'm glad that now you're here. I made lunch dinner. Dinner lunch, yes I did. Um What did I have? Pasta. <laughs> it's like, I, I had something. I had pasta with one rogue onion, some garlic, and a whole handful of my homegrown basil. And it was delish. Also a crack of pepper. Faded hello. It was nice. I liked it. I don't have no potatoes at home right now. <laughs> I know living a terrible life i have one whole fuck ton of pasta very little anything else i need to go shopping yeah i'm sorry i'm oozing the essence of garlic right now <laughs> but i hope you can forgive me for this evening anyways i know i feel ashamed i do i really do <laughs> Thank you, Obi. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. 
when you don't have even potatoes, you know, times are hard. Well, I needed to go to the supermarket. And, um, I mean, that was the plan. The plan was to, to go to the supermarket this evening instead of streaming. <laughs> but, because tomorrow we have the summer solstice celebration in Latvia, I realized that everyone and their mother is going to be at the supermarket this evening, just buying one whole buck ton of stuff for the party. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to get squished in the supermarket. <laughs> I wanted to have a leisurely time. So I decided to tackle the supermarket first thing in the morning tomorrow before everyone has woken up in the hopes that there will be less people. <laughs> the supermarket is a three hour walk away. I mean, you're... I do have to drive. <laughs> I do have to drive, but the, the driving is not the issue. It's the huge amount of people that are gonna be there. That's the issue. I have changed since since I moved, but I haven't moved. I'm still here. I'm still here. I will be moving though at some point. <laughs> but for now, we're still in the owl heaven or hell, whichever, whichever one. The, the how I can hear the howls of the owls in the night. They are giving me a great big fright. Poetry, you know, late night poetry. That's what you signed up for, people. Art and late night poetry. Imagine their eye, their eyes be not, not to loosen. Pardon me, what? What even is that? <laughs> what is that word? Not, not, not to loosen. I don't know what that is. Penny, enlighten me. What is that? Oh, like glowing in the dark. Oh, well, that would be horrible. <laughs> Nightmare fucking material. Noctilescent? I have no clue. Luminescent? Glowing in the fucking dark. <laughs> you know, let's keep it simple. Let's, let's keep it straightforward and easy. Glad I have <laughs> outed myself from my owl closet. It has been a real hoot. <laughs> tea, two, you have tea straws. You do, like male ones? What your roommate with an unreal joke? Well, hit us, hit us up, Alex. Come on, we're gonna be the judge of how unreal that joke was.
The power went out when you were at work. Got a text from Sam saying there is no power. You ask, is the meter still running? Seems to be, yeah. Well, you better go catch it! Ah, dude. <laughs> is it fucking 1997? <laughs> uh, it's so terrible. But, but, you got him good. <laughs> it's like from the same wheelhouse as the, you know, is this the zoo? When you're calling someone, why is an ice bear picking up the phone? You know, it's... It's fine. It's, it's all... I wouldn't add that in your uh, stand-up comedy lineup, just saying. <laughs> Did you have deal or no deal in Latvia? Or do you know what it is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude, why are you talking? Deal with what? Deal with the devil? <laughs> I have no clue what you're on about. A game show? Oh no. As far as game shows go, we had Super Bingo. Is that a game show, though? Super Bingo is not a game show. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> no, we had... Oh, we have... Um... There used to be one, like a, like a Saturday evening game show type of thing. Don't remember what was the name of it, Bob. It was like a quiz, like a Saturday evening quiz. Always the same people. It was great. But yeah, not sure about deals or no deals. Everyone else just has bingo, but you have to go and make it all super. <laughs> well, yeah, you have to stand out somehow. <laughs> super bingo! You open boxes and there is money inside and then someone called and asked if you want to take it or keep going and it's called deal or no deal. <laughs> yeah, I would like to keep this money. Well, uh, what was the catch? You keep opening boxes until you there is no more money inside? <laughs> or... What was stopping people from just opening all the boxes and walking away with money? Teenager used to play a game called Kneel or No Kneel. You pronounce it Kneel? I'll pronounce it Kneel. <laughs> well, if you didn't take the money, you could open another box with more money. And what if you open a box with no money or less money? At what point did you have to take them? How many times could you open boxes? <laughs> I'm missing like some key, you know, rules. You would call a pub or bar and ask if Neil was there, and if there was a Neil, you got a point. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Quality entertainment. Definitely. What's the highest number of points that you got in one evening?
12. <laughs> Shit. A lot of Neils out there. A lot of Neils hanging out at the pub. The optimal selection algorithm is to open number of boxes A you're allowed to open sla forward slash E <laughs> E <laughs> then pick the first box higher than any of the boxes you've seen. Mm. Smart thinking. <laughs> <laughs> 